Hi, this is Kevin Deal. Today we're gonna to talk about the Primo Luna Evo 100 Power Amp. Oh man, I love this amplifier. We hadn't done a video about it because it has been so popular, we didn't really even need to. We didn't even, I don't even know if we sent them out for review. We usually send out the more expensive ones, but the thing is, all Prima Luna products have the same DNA in them. Like if this was CSI uh, tube amplifier, they would say, well, it is not an exact match, but it is damn close, right? The DNA of all Prima Lunas, it has the same thought process. Point-to-point -point wiring, adaptive auto bias, and the best transformers in the industry. Why is that important to you? When a company designs an amplifier here, like a Prima Luna, uh, you know what, before I go there, I wanna say something to you about building a system. Uh, let's say you got a budget for $20,000, right? And you were gonna get some speakers and a lot of people go, okay, I'll spend 10,000 on amplification, 10,000 on speakers. And I submit to you, don't do that. I see people who underspend on speakers all the time. You should get, the best speakers that you can, spend $15,000 on speakers, and then get an amplifier like this, which is well under $3,000, and then add a second one later when you can, and you're gonna have a system that's just gonna knock your socks off. Start off with one of these, get a good music streamer that's got a good volume control, next thing, buy another amp, run them in mono, I'm gonna show you what that really means to you in just a minute, and then when you're ready to get your analog rig, get yourself an Evo 100 preamp. And I'm telling you this, you may have buddies that have spent twice, three times what you spend, but it's not gonna sound better. And it's not gonna be built as well. What do I mean by that? Look, power doesn't mean a damn thing. If I were to put KT120 tubes into this amp, which you know, you can, it's only gonna give you about 45 watts per channel. Now there are manufacturers that give you 100 watts per channel from KT120s. What does that mean to you as a consumer? It means that you're gonna go through tubes faster. The only way to get 100 watts out of a pair of tubes is by running the plate voltage higher, by running the tubes harder. Prima Luna does not believe in that. The credo of Prima Luna for over 20 years now, has been to run the tubes at the lowest dissipation without going into what's called crossover distortion. The benefit of that is there are people that have got Primalin amps that have never changed the tubes. I wouldn't suggest you do that because if you use it a lot, I think that those amps gotta sound kinda cruddy, but these people don't seem to think so. We have people contact us all the time with 10-year-old amps, never change the tubes. They love them, they rock them every day, and they go, do you think we should change them? Yeah, it might be due. But with these amplifiers that run the tubes so hot, you might change them every year. I mean, it's really, really not uncommon. And that becomes very expensive over a period of time. So if power doesn't mean anything, and it doesn't, what does? And that is bandwidth. And bandwidth is, comes from one thing and one thing only, and that is from the output transformers. Output transformers are the secret sauce to making a tube amplifier. And Prima Luna has designed and wound their own output transformers in-house, and they are famous for having amazing, amazing bandwidth. You can have a 500 watt amplifier, but if the output transformers don't uh, have bandwidth, then you're just gonna have a ton of volume but no bottom end. I hope you understand that, right? Power does not mean a damn thing. Now this amplifier has a, a three sets of speaker taps coming off the back. The output transformers are potted. In other words, they're a very expensive part. Output transformers are the single most important part, expensive part, of building a tube amplifier. And that's why manufacturers, they buy them off the shelf and they're gonna try to get away with what's gonna work, right? I mean, if there's a part that's about $50 and one that costs $80, they're not gonna be inclined to go for that upper end uh, product. 
We don't have that problem. We use the best because we make them, right? And they are potted because they're an expensive part. And our power amplifiers have three sets of speaker taps on the back. There's a 4-ohm tap, <clears throat> an 8-ohm tap, and a 16-ohm tap. You want to use the one that sounds best. If you've got a speaker that says it's an 8-ohm speaker, don't assume that's what's going to sound best. It is critically important, critically important that you try the other taps and use the ones that sound best. I remember decades ago, I had a classic 60 ARC amp and I had a pair of <coughs> Martin Logan CLSs and I forget what version they were, but I remember that a lot of people felt that even though it was a low impedance speaker, they sounded best on the 16 ohm tap, right? Same thing here. Use the one that sounds best. Now, if you switch this amplifier to mono operation instead of a, uh, a 4 ohm tap, an 8 ohm tap, and a 16 ohm tap, it's going to change to a 2, four, two ohm, 4 ohm, and 8 ohm. That 2 ohm tap is going to be great for ribbon speakers or some of these wacky things that uh, people buy. Oh my God. And one more thing, when you run any Primalina amplifier in mono, something magic happens. The power doubles, but the output impedance drops. And you're gonna be running off of dual output transformers, one for the positive leg of the signal, one for the negative leg. And that is something highly unusual in this business. And it is absolute magic. Now let's talk about the other transformers in here. Uh, the power transformer is a toroid, and toroids uh, radiate, I think it's about a tenth of the EMI uh, into the critical signal path up here that other transformers do. And, transfor and you know, toroids are a lot less efficient, and so they require a lot more material to wind them. Plus, they're not wind as easily as other transformers. That's why a lot of companies just don't use them. But the benefits are less EMI, but there's also less acoustic noise. The acoustic noise can be dropped by, you know, upwards of 70%. In other words, they're not going to hum into the room mechanically. But to make sure that that's dropped even further, this transformer is, uh, potted in a can that helps to reduce EMI getting out of the can and the mechanical vibration that can leak into the air. Now, you're going to see something else under this can that's going to be very hard for me to explain, and it's called a choke. There's big Nishikon capacitors that you can't see in this thing, and they're mounted right up here. Nichicons are badass. These are great big Nichicons, 330 cap. 330 uh, uh, microfarad uh, capacitors. They're the ones with the big bayonets on them. They have a, another cap mounted off of that, and that's for to get rid of high frequency hash. <clears throat> that is what's called a um, uh, a Pi circuit. So you've got uh, a capacitor, an inductor, then a capacitor. That's all about dropping the noise floor. Dropping the noise floor. It's so hard for us as a company to explain that to people who are always thinking that, oh, I need 100 watts. Why do you need 100 watts? I don't know, the guy at Best Buy said, that's what I need is 100 watts. No, we build the amplifier to drop the noise floor, drop the noise floor. The difference, look, dynamic range comes from the difference between light and dark and loud and soft. Drop the noise floor. Oh my God. Now, going up front from here, you're going to see our beautiful adaptive auto bias board. Primalina invented a truly adaptive auto bias. I've seen companies call their boards auto bias <clears throat> and they are nothing like that. They're just a servo, right? So you set the bias once and if you have to change the tubes, you have to reset it. That's not auto bias. Our adaptive auto bias cuts distortion, and more importantly, it cuts distortion when you turn it up and as the tubes age. <clears throat> these tubes are not going to age evenly. They're not. One of them is going to get droopy prematurely. And when 
uh, adaptive auto bias sees that, it's going to work as hard as you can to make sure that you don't hear it. Oh my God, I just love that. And what's that going to mean to you? An extended tube life. No muss, no fuss. And <clears throat> if a tube fails on this amp, there's a little LED to tell you which tube failed. In other amplifiers, and in a lot of them, if you have a tube failure, it could well mean a trip to the shop and taking out resistors, right? Uh, cathode resistors, screen resistors, whatever. I mean, I've been... I've changed more resistors in my lifetime than I care to think about. Not in a Prima Luna. At the first hint of a problem, there's a box right there. That is a relay. That relay opens, the B plus gets turned off, it protects all these expensive parts inside and saves you from having to do anything. All you gotta do is go, oh my God, there's no music, what happened? <clears throat> now, it could be that there's just a burp that happened in your system. Turn the amp off, let it sit for five minutes, turn it back on. In fact, I would take that tube, pull it out and receive it. Turn the amp back on. If it lights up again, then you probably got a bad tube. Just go ahead and replace it. You don't have to replace all the tubes. You don't have to worry about match tubes. You don't even have to use the right tube. I could run three EL34s and one KT120 right here the amp would sound beautiful. Would you want to do that? You could. I mean, it's not optimum, but you could because adaptive auto bias is so, so powerful. The entire signal path, the signal path is point to point wired. That's the way to do it. Look at, you're going to see $10,000 amplifiers where the tubes are mounted to a printed circuit board. What's the problem with that? When you wiggle this tube, it's, it's going to make that cir circuit board flex. When the board gets old and becomes brittle, it can break the traces in the board. We wanted to avoid that. We wanted to build something that grandma could own, that people can own for a lifetime. And they do, and Prima Luna's maintain their, their value because of it. People know that the stuff that we made in 2003 is still working today. And indeed, they've become a collectible. And we build them that way today, and even that much better. Oh, man. <clears throat> in the front end, you got a pair of 12AX7s. Those are the most important tube. On the Prima Luna website, we have a whole series of stuff about tube rolling and all the fun that you can have with it. Oh, man. And then there's a switch on the side for fine-tuning the bias between smaller dissipation tubes and the big tubes, because you can run anything. EL34, 6L6, KT88, KT120, 6550, <coughs> a slew of tubes. And then you have what's called a doomsday tube, a uh, fuse. And that's right here on the side. And you'll probably never have to access it, but if something really weird happens in your house, or <coughs> I had one magazine reviewer who drank a little too much and tripped over his power tubes, this can help to save the day. We don't want these to come back, and they don't. This is by far the most dependable and best, best built line in the industry, and I, I put my name on that. I put my name on that. There's five coats of hand rub finish. This is a real automotive lacquer. Go look at the other companies that use that powder coat. The reason they use it is because they can have sand marks in the metal and it doesn't show up. You can't do that with a gloss paint. And then our beautiful cage. Oh man, this is great stuff. Look, don't buy a damn thing without doing your due diligence. Hold me to task. Go to the Prima Luna website. Look at the other, <clears throat> there's a page there that's called uh, Critical Information. And the reason it's there is you need to learn about what you're spending. We want you to get something that you'll love. We want you to something, get something that will inspire you. And that's why we call Prima Luna Music Illuminated. Thanks.